It's time to wake up about what our phones do while we're sleeping. And when we're not, for that matter. Constantly sending out personal data to places we'd never expect. That's crazy. To see who's getting a hold of Kate Baumgartner's information and exactly what's being said about her, she agreed to be part of an experiment. Let's do it. She downloaded special software on her phone, so 600 miles away. This is what the data looks like I have. Patrick Jackson can see all the sensitive stuff her phone is sending out. They're getting all this information. Like, you don't want to give up that. Patrick is a chief technology officer at Disconnect, a privacy firm that limits something called app trackers. You know all those handy apps you download on your phone? He says most of them are collecting information about you and sending it to technology companies that track your behavior. They, they're very aggressive about collecting data as much as they can, as fast as they can. You have no idea what they're taking and what they're going to do with it. <laughs> Kate's privacy test showed apps like Realtor.com and People Magazine share her exact GPS coordinates and locations with outside app trackers. Oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> the Weather Channel app shares not only Kate's location, but also very detailed information about her cell phone and a unique number that identifies her to advertisers. I feel like that's sneaky. And an app called TimeHop allows third-party companies to see every move Kate makes inside the app and also shares information like Kate's age and even her email address. How does it get... Oh, that's kind of scary. No, that's really scary. That's not kind of scary. Altogether, Kate's phone was bombarded with requests from 1,407 app trackers in just one weekend. Sending her personal information to companies like Mubpo, Ablatix, NextAge, AppBoy, Segment, Embrace, and Nimbus. <laughs> Kate's never heard of them either, but they know her because of data from her phone. People don't realize that this is going on, and I think if they were presented with a choice or, or at least able to see what was happening, I think they would be really creeped out. The crazy thing, technically we're giving them permission to do this. Deep within the user agreements of these apps, the company says they may give away our information to other companies they do business with. I've never read those agreements. <laughs> I mean, there's pages of them, so I've never honestly taken the time. Kate says she's going to rethink how many apps she keeps on her phone kind of scary to have so much information out there about you that you don't even realize is out there. That's why you have to be so careful about who you're allowing to collect your data. It's a ticking time bomb. A nightmare of our own making playing right next to us in bed. <laughs>